Another fast-moving storm system due to arrive here by late tomorrow, but will it bring us rain or snow? I'll have a full update coming up. If you live anywhere in this path, you want to take that shelter now. Now's your opportunity to find your safe spot. Take a look at it. Troy, that, that circulation's on top of you. I do hope you did take your precautions. I hope that you are in your tornado shelter. We've seen some big changes here over the last half hour to hour mark. The snow uh, started sometime during the 4 o'clock hour. Now we're seeing moderate to heavy snow. These are severe winds, and they're going to move right up from southwestern Jefferson County through Valley Station through PRP towards the Shively area here, and eventually that's going to make its way into downtown Louisville. And so it's there where we had good heating today and we had those thunderstorms that really blew up. That's where that threat is. It's a narrow window basically for our western counties. You see how they're kind of diffuse. That indicates that that storm is fanning out. These are straight line winds more likely than not. But again, 60 to 65 mile an hour winds, that's enough to do some damage. Hey Mark, we've been watching this storm for, uh, you know, the evolution of the storm for more than a week now. Mm -hmm. I and mean, of course, over the last 24 to 36 hours, we've seen huge changes in weather model data. And what I'm hearing through social and through people talking on the street is comparisons to some uh -huh. of the greatest storms. That You're exactly right, Mark. I tell you what, it's coming in very, very good, very consistently right now. And with air temperatures dropping, I'm showing about 23 degrees in the thermometer. Expect some of these storms to end, Jeremy. Lindsay. David, I think we will see an end later on this evening and overnight tonight, but right now it's super busy weather-wise, especially in the metro area, where a flash flood warning was just issued for much of metro Louisville. That does include downtown Louisville, northern Jefferson County, eastern sections of Harrison County, much of Floyd and southern Clark County is included in that flash flood warning. Keep in mind how much rain fell last night and now the torrential rains that are we, seeing, or we are seeing across the area right now. In addition, there is that potential severe weather. A severe thunderstorm watch for remains in effect until 11 o'clock tonight. We have active warnings that are in effect for portions of Floyd and Clark County. That warning just issued for the possibility of 60 mile per hour winds. Also new warnings being issued for southern portions of Henry. Much of Shelby County, this is for a storm that's moving out of Spencer and southern Shelby County outside right now. Current look outside and you can see the raindrops are falling and they're falling heavy. It's accompanied by frequent lightning. Your temperature is at 70 degrees in Louisville. A uh, rain cooled 70 degrees. Winds are west southwest at 8 miles per hour. You can see all the thunderstorm activity right now on Storm View HD radar. A tremendous amount of lightning across the metro area and those areas along and just to the north of 64 seeing those heaviest rainfall rates, which according to radar, better than 5 inches per hour. Severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Charlestown. Henryville. Also, new severe thunderstorm warnings issued for Shelbyville and out towards southern portions of Henry County. We'll have a full update on our severe potential. A look ahead towards a much calmer weekend as well coming up in just a few minutes. Well, Jeremy, you say we're going to be getting a little bit of rain in our future? Yeah, maybe a lot for maybe. the middle of the week. That's right. It's okay because we need the rain. Okay. Lawns have been getting brown out there. Luckily, a cool down is on the way, but yes, Ryan. another round of wet weather storms. It's, it's all related, right? You see, we're going to see a cold. <laughs> front that will bring the cooler temperatures, but it will also bring that potential for more strong thunderstorms. And with that, the possibility of more heavy rainfall, which we don't need. And that's the reason why the Weather Service issued a flash flood watch. Hot, steamy, that humidity building back in, isn't it? Already, we're kind of tired of talking about summer-like conditions, and yet we're still a week and a half away from the official summer. That's true. It's hard to spring. believe. <laughs> the seal of approval from the American Meteorological Society. This is a weather forecaster's dream. Don't have to work too hard. I've got to be honest with you. Conditions just simply won't be changing a whole lot over the next few days ahead, and that's probably a very good thing because it's going to be awfully nice outside. Right now, it's simply gorgeous. Sunshine and that temperature in the mid-70s, 74 degrees. It's also very low humidity, 52-degree uh, dew point, making it feel very dry out there, very comfortable, and that northwesterly wind will continue to deliver the cooler-than-average conditions and the drier than normal conditions uh, for this time of the year. Keep in mind, this is a state fair time. You would expect sky-high heat and humidity. We'll be nowhere close to that today. Perfect conditions this afternoon. 76 at noon. I think we top out today at around 80 degrees. So if you're going out to the fair, looks great. Remember the sunscreen. 
and uh, 68 degrees here by 10 p.m. this evening. It's going to drop off pretty quickly this evening, and overnight temperatures tonight will be downright chilly, I think, for just about all locations. Temperatures across the region, quite a bit warmer towards south and east. That's ahead of that front, 82 in Charlotte, 83 in Atlanta behind the front. We've cooled off into the 70s, and it gets colder as you move to the north. 68 degrees in Peoria right now at 63 Madison, and look at the 50s across the upper Midwest. That's the air mass that's going to be driving in our direction. Now, only is it cool, but take a look at the dew point temperatures. We've been dealing with dew points in the 60s and low 70s. That's what you would expect this time of the year. That feels sticky. 40s and 50s, that feels very, very comfortable. That also is moving in our direction. Satellite radar combination showing clouds moving away from us right now. That's uh, with that strong cold front that moved through here late yesterday, last night. Behind it, northwesterly winds developing, bringing with it the cool, the dry conditions, and we're going to see those temperatures peaking out this afternoon. Most areas, I think, only in the 70s. 77 Frankfurt today, close to 80 in Louisville. It's going to be very comfortable. Falls off quickly here this evening, and uh, advance track showing the possibility of not just 50s, but a few locations waking up. In the upper 40s tomorrow morning, that's as cool as it's been in about four months. And then you can see tomorrow equally nice temperatures tomorrow, actually perhaps a couple degrees cooler than what we're expecting this afternoon. 80 degrees today in Louisville outside the city. Everybody else uh, in the 70s with brilliant sunshine. Enjoy this weather. We get to keep it around. It looks like for much of the week. 78 degrees tomorrow, 79 on Wednesday. Those cool mornings, 50s in town, uh, upper 40s possible both tomorrow morning and Wednesday morning outside of the city. Gradual warming trend for the end of the week, but we keep those rain chances out of here until late over the weekend. Slight chance of rain returning by Sunday. Pretty good stretch of weather, mm -hmm. ladies. And what we need to do is probably add more heat, more humidity just to make it more fair life. Oh, okay. I was going to well, say it's a little cool. <laughs> it's a little not. cool. Need to for the up. Fair. Absolutely. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Jeremy. you, Jeremy. Sure. But this one has shown enough evidence that it's weakened enough that uh, Weather Service is going to allow that to expire early. And with that, we'll send you back to programming. Stay tuned to WDRB Weather for the very latest.